Yo, what's good, man? My name is Flimlo Raps. I want to welcome y'all to the off-season episode, baby. In this episode, we are not going to include the subscriber recruit creations. We're not going to include the winner of the legend voting either. This is for all the other off-season tasks. If you are not interested in those tasks, click away. I will have a pointed video for the subscriber winners and a pointed video for the legend. There will be individual videos so that people who only want to see that can go in, watch only that, and get up out of there. This is going to be everything else in the off season because as many of you guys know, probably all of y'all be on this channel, NCAA is a very deep game and it's got a lot more to do than just those things all right this is the second time i've actually done the off season so y'all kind of already know what to expect expect a longer video so here we go off seasons here then you're gonna have the subscriber creation then you're gonna have the legend winner and then you'll have the actual preseason so we're talking four videos um with the first one the off season and the preseason being the long ones the two in the middle will be short just kind of giving you that quick information and then the new season will start baby so we got four videos coming first after we get these four out the way make sure the setup is perfect and pristine so the season makes sense then we start the season all right i talk long enough let's start opening it up man my man left his mark a jizzle school career rushing yard record 4,000 yards broke a record from that a cat held from 85 to 88 broke about 500 yards so new utep record man we're gonna see how long in the dynasty a jizzle's record is gonna hold up matter of fact let me know in the comments bro do you think we're gonna ever get somebody we're gonna get somebody eventually how long do you think it's gonna take? Like, how long you think this record gonna stand? One year, two, three, four, ten years? Let me know. Also, he has the touchdown record. 68 broke his own damn record from the season before of 44. So he already had that. 68 career rushing touchdown records, man. That's crazy. Young Givens, White Dion, already in the record books. Hasn't even played a full season yet, bro. 12 picks. Uh, dude from 66, man. He's been holding that record since 1966 with 11. This dude comes in, plays fucking, I don't know, 10 games, breaks the record. Mm, money. A contract extension. Uh, got a four year extension. So we got four more years here at UTEP, man. That was my 5.30 a.m. alarm going off for me to get my ass up and do this before I got to be at work at 9. But you see, I'm already at work, baby. A career record, dude. 26 and 1. 26 and 1. And you could believe Notre Dame, they going to get it. The motherfuckers, the only team that beat us, and they beat us fair and square but if they think they're not gonna see us again they got life fucked up all right checking out the players leaving the only person we're losing is my boy a jizzle who is going to the pro draft he's projected to go in the second round which seems fair to me that seems that definitely seems fair running backs dude generally speaking are kind of a dime a dozen now he's a two-time heisman winning running back but he did go to a smaller program. So to be projected second round, that seems fair. And we'll keep that in mind when we do our Madden CFM. Second round running back. Cool with that. Okay, the moment of truth. Recruiting, baby. So this is crunch time, you know. And you can only choose a couple of these cats to snatch up. So needless to say... None of these dudes are going on my list. Let's take another look at the people I've gotten already. Okay. Okay. So, two to three people um, is really where I want to put my focus. Okay. But I got four people. 
the hell with Kenny Gonzalez and all these cats that are way too low on the list, but as far as my top four people, I definitely feel like I could get all of them. But at the same time, I don't want to short anybody trying to spread myself too thin and end up getting nobody. So it's <laughs> it's a little it's a little nerve wracking, man. Cause I can just sell out and say, you know what, fuck it, give me Junior Wilson, and, and I'm good. But I gotta have Junior Wilson, right? So off bat, man, we're up a lot. <sighs> I hope this don't bite me in the ass, bro, but I'm going 8,000. I'm going 8,000 on Junior Wilson. I feel like that should definitely secure him. And I actually... And as much as I like David Pittman, and David Pittman is a great player, bro. He's a D tackle, and he's kind of one of those guys who represents... Us going up in prestige, you know what I'm saying, with the type of player he is and the caliber. But impact wise, I can't. Scott Ward is a 99 acceleration, 85 speed linebacker. You just don't find that. Like, you really don't find that, man. And so, I'm definitely going out to Scott. But Thomas Young, that athlete right there, could possibly play running back. Obviously, I just lost A. Jones. So, man, it's a lot of... It's a hard... It's a lot of tough decisions right here, bro. A lot of tough decisions. And I know y'all gonna get on my ass if I don't get these people. <laughs> I already know, and rightfully so. But, I mean, I'm curious. Let me know in the comments, what would you do? And don't wait till after we see the goddamn results. Because hindsight is 2020, goddammit. Would you say the hell with all of this crop A talent that wants to come to you? And that's kind of the thing, bro. For y'all, those of y'all who don't know, like my actual profession, I work in sales. And this is why you got to close your goddamn deals when you can close them. Because now it's crunch time. You only have so much time to go around. All your customers come back at the same time. You don't have as much time to dedicate to each individual guy. I mean, 7,000, 4,000, and 2,000. I, I wish I was live streaming this shit because if I was, I would be like, and I, which I will be doing. Like, we're talking about maybe like a year, like next year, maybe later this year. Um, yeah, I got plans. I know. I Trust me, dude. I plan all my shit out. So, once I move up to that level, I don't have the equipment to do it right now. I'll be live streaming this shit, and I'll be getting some feedback. Because right now, I'm not so sure, man. I, I'm not so damn sure. Okay, I feel like this. I feel like I can't put no points on Pittman. All right, so this is what I'm doing. I want these guys. I really do. However, I'm only going to put 1,000 points on each one of them. That's that's the move. That's what I'm gonna make. The need points. I'm first on their list. Boom. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm rolling with. I ain't looking back. Let's go. As we skip to signing day, and I am nervous as fuck. <laughs> Uh, don't fuck over me, man. Don't fuck over me, man. Please don't fuck over me. Come on, bro. Yes. <laughs> okay, cool, bro. We got three out of the four. And I live with that. I mean, I did want that athlete also, but shit. Three out of four, I'm cool with that. I will not complain, I guarantee you. 
Okay, so looking at my draft class, they ranked us number 41. So we had the number 41 draft class. It's not terrible. Uh, four four-star guys, six three-star guys, okay? But it, it's weird kind of how they do this because my three-star guys, a lot of them are really four-star guys. I mean, you know, attribute-wise, they're better than a lot of four-star guys. So I'm cool with that because I think we're a little bit better than what they're ranking us right here. Because they didn't go do the scouting, baby. You got to go do the scouting, man. You realize a lot of them three-star cats is really beast. Changes, my favorite part. Oh, and already. Oh, but he's an 85 speed. Okay, so my favorite part, position changes. This is really the crucial, crucial point in the season where you put, you place all your guys, man. Because... People can play more than one position, and generally speaking, you can find a couple guys you can move around that'll be good in one spot that you know you may not have thought that they would be. Now this guy, he's a 85 speed, 94 acceleration. He's a running back. He's not a very good running back, but we'll put him there as a placeholder. All right, so as y'all can see, we signed Junior Wilson. Freshman phenom, and again, four-star guy who is a, clearly a five-star guy. So that's why I say my recruiting class is a lot better than what we were actually ranked because how many four-star quarterbacks you know coming in as an 80? A lot of the five-star quarterbacks ain't coming in as a damn 80. And the crazy thing is, bro, we still have Gary Simpson who started last year starting. We still have Kavika Johnson, who took over last year. And now we have Junior Wilson. So Junior Wilson is definitely, absolutely red shirting this year. Uh, let's look at their throwing attributes. All right, man, so Garrett Simpson, 92 and 81. You see, Junior Wilson's already better than both of these dudes. <laughs> <laughs> through the air 96 throwing power bro you can't teach arm strength like that you know what i'm saying his accuracy will go up and <laughs> this dude is gonna be a beast man like i think i kind of underrated this signing like i found this guy late in the season uh he was a diamond in the rough you can see he's a 74 and then scouted him he shot up six points and a damn good six points so it's gonna be out of kavika and garrett to battle it out to see who's gonna actually win the starting spot for this year. Uh, Kavika is not guaranteed shit, even though he played okay last year. I like the fact that he can run. And just depending on how I end up tooling my offense, we may end up being more vertical if we already be Garrett. If we're more, you know, play action, read option, obviously it's gonna have to be Kavika because we're gonna need a way to generate offense, especially after losing A. Jones, we might be in trouble. Let's see. Okay, here are my running backs, okay? Uh, this athlete that I just signed who sucks, you got Trayvon Hughes, who's a junior. He'll train, but he's ass. Like, even after he trains, his speed and shit is so low that even if he went up two speed points, like, chances are, unless he goes up four speeds and three excels and gets, like, at least a 90-90, Mm, I don't know. Uh, we're going to come back to running back. Let's keep going. Let's see who else we have. <laughs> All right, people. So the offense does not look good. And like I say, we have training. But damn. Okay, so looking at Corey Liston. And like I was saying, I was like, man, if I get an opportunity to redshirt this dude, he'll be a real, real beast. I'm not going to have an opportunity to redshirt him. He's a 93 speed. He's going to have to start. You know what I'm saying? Damn, Junel got a 96 catch. That's what's up. All right. Let's look at the O-line. 76, 72, 87, 78. 
So we're in the 70s everywhere except right tackle. All right, so we're in the 70s everywhere. 76, he's a low 70. He's a 72, okay. So, somebody's gonna battle either the left guard spot or the right tackle spot. I guess right tackle. We're gonna have them battle for right tackle. Well, hang on. I just realized. Yeah, okay. So, you can battle for left guard. And you can battle for right tackle. Okay. So, we'll have those guys duke it out in training. All right. Ends our ass. Here we go. Thank goodness. This dude is a true freshman. Yeah. Move, moving the left end just in case I decide to play him, which I probably won't, just judging off of. I think I brought him in to be a D tackle. 75 speed. Nah, he's only 235. <laughs> yeah, he's going to play in. Okay, so my D tackles are looking good. And David Pittman, he's Juco guy. He's starting right off the bat. And then again, Scott Ward, man. This dude is a beast. 79 overall, 85 speed, 99 excel. And I might have a couple true freshmen that have to start, man, just due to our lack of, like, we didn't do well in recruiting last year. So this year, we're looking really, really skimpy. Like, our... Our offense, man, we're not looking good. Our defense isn't looking great. <sighs> it's tough right now, man. All right, let's figure out how we're going to do this. We got A. Jones in the middle. I mean... Okay, so my right outside is only a 73. So we'll move him. And I, I never, I always forget which one of these dudes is out here, but it, it doesn't matter. I'll make sure Scott Ward is out there in the nickel. Um, only time he won't be out there is in the dime, if we're going one linebacker. All right, man, I got cornerbacks on deck, like, all over the place. Got Bev, you got, I just signed Rawls who a red shirt. So my corner's a red shirt for sure. No questions asked. So we good on corners. D Miller, he's good. Heesh, 72. All right, let's send, let's send the boys over there to, not you. Send him over there to battle it out. <clears throat> over here, strong safety. And man, okay. After looking at this, this is gonna be a tough year. We suck. All right, the honest truth, bro, is we're short on talent. Honest truth. Honest truth, man, we short on talent this year. Um, after having such a bad first two years in recruiting, it is really showing up right now. Because we're in some key spots. We are weak, weak, weak. 
I even considered putting Kavika at running back till I realized he's a fucking 82 speed. And I'm like, shit, if I'm gonna have an 82 speed running back, I might as well play Jeff Simpson. You know what I'm saying? He's at least an 85 shit. My receivers aren't that great. <sighs> I don't know, man. They ain't looking good. Let's, let's see what happened at the position change. Training results, and I like to go position by position. Damn. Okay. Well, <laughs> Gary Simpson, man, he got benched last year, and he took it like a champ, man. And he went to the offseason. He worked his ass off. This dude shot up seven points. He's now a 93 overall senior and is the runaway starter, which kind of sucks for Kavika. Because that's probably a career for him. Like, it might be time for him to transfer because he started next year, this year, and then that freshman I just signed started next year, no questions. Yeah, Kavika, you, you might be hit, big dog. As we can see, Gary Simpson can't move. He's super slow. But, I mean, he's a 93 overall. Like, I'm not going to not play him. His accuracy went up six points. So, he worked really hard on his accuracy. Even improved his throw power some, which was already good. And all right, he's the starter. 94, 87, that's, that's nice. And I'm going to need him to lead our team. Okay, so Trayvon Hughes went up seven points, man. And shit, I'll be honest, bro. That's lovely because fuck. You know what I'm saying? So now he's an 81 overall. 87 speed, 98 excel. I mean, he's not great, obviously, but got an 81 break tackle. Is that it? Like, carrying his juke, stiff arm sucks. Awareness is good. Alright, well, at least it went up to an 81. Um, we're probably not going to run it as much. But when we do need to run it, goal line situations, we got a guy that can at least tote the rock. You know what I'm saying? Okay, Junel shot up five points. He's now a 90 overall. Beast. He's a slow, short receiver. And this year, I may put him in a slot and let him eat like that. As a matter of fact, I think that's what I'm going to do. He's a relatively strong route runner. 82 is not great, but it's not terrible either. He got a 99 catch. He catched that bit, if nothing else. So, yeah, he's definitely going to move to the slot this year, and I'm going to let him let him do his thing. I'll move Oham to the outside. <sighs> move Oham to the outside, and it looks like that freshman I just started, I mean, I just recruited, is going to have to start. So the brand new freshman in Oham will play the outsides and Junel will play the slot. I'm gonna need some work from my tight end, man. Torres gonna have to hold me down. 81 left tackle, 78 left guard, 87 center, 83 right guard, 77 right tackle. Not bad, decent O-line. 76 left end, 79 right end. Okay, two very, very respectable D tackles, which give me an opportunity to redshirt the guy I just recruited. This dude's a senior. He'll be gone next year. Linebackers. Okay, my freshman's going to start right here. Man, Jizzle only went up four fucking points, man. So he went up to an 83. So he's an 83 junior. Uh, 87 speed. Eighty-four tackle. I mean, he's okay. Eighty-four 
Leon Hayes got moved from safety last year. Moved up. He's an 82 overall senior, so he did work his way into the starting spot. 89 speed, which is fucking great for linebacker, and a 93 excel. So, okay. Man, Givens only went up four points, bruh. Really? He went up four points? He's, he's still obviously starting. I'm going to keep him in the same spot on the same side. My damn phone is going crazy right now. It's fucking six in the morning. Like, shit. All right. Uh, Beverly will... I guess play the other side and then damn Beverly yeah Beverly gonna play the other side because he's 6-1 Cockrell will play the slot actually yeah Cockrell will play the slot and then Jay Brown will play the dime okay D Miller went up five points thank you a respectable number now he's an 86 overall sophomore, 93 speed, which went up one. Acceleration went up one. Beast. Y'all know I'm looking for block shed and tackle. His catch went up one. His jumping went up one. His tackle went up two. <sighs> I wish his tackle could have went up like fucking seven. <laughs> But went up to 64, and now we know why he gets so many tackles broken because he can't fucking tackle. Pursues goods, coverage is great. A whole bunch of skills that he never gets to utilize because I'm always playing on him. I still didn't see his block shit, though. There we go. Power moves, finesse moves, all suck. Block shed his ass. All right. These dudes battled it out. You got Michael Lewis and Henson, both relatively close to each other. Michael Lewis has the speed the edge on speed, but Henson has an 80 awareness, so he's starting. <laughs> In a spot that's controlled by the computer, obviously. My punter will also be my kicker. And that's the squad for this year, man. We don't look that great. Like, I, I'll be real. Like, maybe... Maybe once we actually get on the field, I'll feel better about my boys. But right now... <sighs> I don't know, man. Custom conferences. People told me that I should go to the Pac-12. As I look at the Pac-12, there's not a lot of ranked schools. There's three. So, where the hell are the ranked schools at? All the ranked schools in the ACC. But, we ain't going to the ACC. We're going to the fucking Pac-12. People told me to air it out here. This is where I'm coming. We're not going to be on the same side with UCLA in the south. But if we go to the other side, that means we could play them for the championship game. Assuming that there's a championship game. And there is because I remember they played in it last year. Okay, cool. So let's do that. So we jump in right here. We're going to have to move somebody out who do we kick out Colorado yeah let's uh let's kick Colorado out move them over here first and then we'll bring them and move them back over to the big 12 okay boom <laughs> all right you see the screen we're on right now? The create a prospect screen. We're going to stop it right here. <laughs> and the next episode, I'll be bringing you guys the the legend. And I'll be bringing you guys the, uh, the subscribers that we need to create. <clears throat> okay, so I think we're getting the subscribers first. But it'll be... I'm losing track of my days, man. But it'll be a day after this. So... 
basically we're in hyper speed right now i'm still going to be four times a week going forward but i'm gonna push 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 right now so that we can do a video every day until or every night at midnight until this whole thing is resolved once this whole thing is resolved which will probably take to like sunday or monday then we'll be back on the regular pace but until then hyper speed i'm talking tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday until all of this is done and we're ready to start the actual season all right so anyway i'm gonna catch y'all next time if y'all dug the off season video click the thumbs up button subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget i'm gonna fuck with y'all next time flimlo raps